Guys, have you ever tried testing emails and accidentally blasted one out to real users? That kind of thing can lead to embarrassment, broken trust, or worse. You need to be 100% sure everything works, and it has to happen before it leaves your system. I am Daniel, and in today's video, we are diving into a tool that can really help your team out. It's called MailTrap Email Sandbox, a testing solution from the MailTrap Email delivery platform. So if you build apps that send emails, or you're just tired of broken email previews, and spam folder surprises. Stick around. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump in. Guys, we usually focus on deliverability and open rates, but before any of that happens, there's a more fundamental step – testing. Developers and QA teams often struggle to validate email workflows without hitting real inboxes. And honestly, there aren't many safe, flexible tools out there that let you simulate production-like scenarios without the risk. That's where MailTrap Email Sandbox really shines, folks. It creates a dedicated environment for inspecting, debugging, and perfecting your emails before a single one goes live. Think of it as a firewall for your outbound email logic. It catches everything – structure issues, HTML glitches, spam triggers, you name it. And guys, it lets you fix them all in one place. It's not just about peace of mind. It's about making sure your product communicates the way it's supposed to, consistently and professionally. That kind of polish builds trust over time. So, my friends, what makes MailTrap stand out from other email tools? One big reason is its modular approach. While it's an email delivery platform at its core, the Email Sandbox is a standalone solution, fully focused on testing and diagnostics. You're not just checking whether the email was delivered, you're inspecting its DNA. Guys, the platform lets you zoom into the fine details of each message. You can see how it's rendered, you get a spam score, and you'll know whether images are blocked or if the links redirect correctly. In fast-moving teams, these little things often get overlooked, but when they slip into production, folks, they can ruin the user experience. With this solution, you're not taking chances. You're building confidence into your email stack. And in a world where users judge brands by every message they get, that matters, folks. So, guys, we're going to walk through the email testing feature inside the MailTrap platform, a powerful solution for safe, pre-production email testing. The platform highlights three key benefits across the board – fast delivery, high inboxing rates, and 24-7 support from actual human beings. As you can see, the interface is split into two main sections – one for developers and one for marketers. We're focusing on the developer side today, specifically on email testing. In the Email API SMTP section, you'll find a button labeled Start Testing. That's where the magic happens, folks. This environment is completely isolated, meaning any email you send here doesn't reach real users. Instead, it lands in a virtual inbox where you can analyze every element. You'll be prompted to choose a domain type. There are two options, guys. The demo domain lets you start testing right away, great for getting a feel for the platform. Then there's own domain, which involves verifying your custom domain. Once it's all set up, any email you route through MailTrap has a much higher chance of landing in the inbox, not in spam. Now, folks, we're on the demo domain setup page. Notice the limitations here. First, for security reasons, the account is capped at 50 emails per hour. If you need more, you can request a higher rate limit. Second, guys, the domain can only send emails to itself, so test emails will land in your own inbox. Nothing goes out into the world. We're now in the Integration tab. This is where you can connect your app to MailTrap via SMTP or API. You'll see two types of streams here, folks. The transactional stream is used for things like password resets or confirmations. The bulk stream is better suited for newsletters or product updates. Now, under Tracker settings, you can enable email interaction tracking. There's track open emails using an HTML tracking pixel and track clicks for all links in your messages via redirect tracking. In unsubscribe settings, guys, you can configure opt-out links. Bulk streams require unsubscribe functionality, while it's optional for transactional emails. You'll find ready-made templates and footers here. Webhook settings let you trigger real-time notifications for email events like delivery, opens, or clicks. That's great for syncing your app with MailTrap's analytics. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring, and in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. In the Sandbox section, you can build your testing environment, choose your tech stack, grab a config snippet, drop it into your app, 
and boom, you're ready to test. Under integrations, folks, there's a massive list of supported stacks. You can also set up auto-forwarding or manual forwarding to approve test recipients. And yep, access rights are fully manageable. You can add teammates to collaborate in the same sandbox. For example, guys, let's pick WordPress. I'll copy the config, paste it into my site, and now I'm sending test email straight from the platform. Here's a test email I just sent. You can see how it landed cleanly in our test inbox. Let me send one more, same process. This message is also delivered instantly to the test inbox, and I'm able to preview every part of it. And that, my friends, is how you test emails using Mailtrap Sandbox. Guys, you know what makes tools like this stick? Real projects. Let's say you're working on a new onboarding flow. You want to test all the emails in the sequence, from welcome message to trial expiration. Instead of manually checking each version in a staging account, you set up Mailtrap Email Sandbox to capture and organize those messages in real time. Or maybe you're launching a password reset feature, folks. You don't just want to test if the link works. You want to see if the formatting holds up across Gmail, Outlook, and mobile. You want to know if that link might trigger a spam filter. And if your product supports multiple languages or uses dynamic content, MailTrap helps you preview all those variations in one place, guys. You can even automate it using the APIs so that every language version is tested instantly when new changes are pushed. This is where it comes in handy. And for dev teams moving fast, having that controlled feedback loop is gold. You don't have to guess. You can test, analyze, fix, and ship with confidence, folks. Another scene worth highlighting is automation. The email sandbox isn't just about clicking around manually. You can connect it to your CI-CD pipeline and automate testing for every deployment. So guys, the next time someone merges new email logic, your system automatically runs a validation check. If anything breaks, like malformed HTML or a missing preview link, you catch it right away. MailTrap Email Sandbox also integrates cleanly with tools like Postman and GitHub Actions. So you don't need to reinvent the wheel, my friends. You plug it in, set your rules, and it takes care of the rest. And folks, this kind of integration can save hours, if not days. Because nothing slows down a sprint like chasing down email bugs after deployment. Another angle here, my friends, is team collaboration. MailTrap makes it easy to invite developers, QA testers, even marketers to the same environment. Everyone sees the same test results, the same message previews, and the same tracking data. That unified view cuts down on the back and forth, guys. Everything is stored, organized, and easy to compare. And if your team is growing, the platform scales with you. You might be a startup running a single app, folks. Or you could be an enterprise managing dozens of live projects. Either way, their testing product handles multiple sandboxes, separate project folders, and different permission levels without missing a beat. To wrap things up, friends, here's the bottom line. MailTrap's email sandbox gives you clarity, control, and confidence. You no longer send blind, you see each email exactly as your users will. When it's time to go live, you can send real emails via MailTrap's API or SMTP, all within the same environment that handles both testing and delivery. So guys, if you care about quality, this is the kind of tool that becomes part of your default stack. It's reliable and flexible. It's also backed by fast delivery, high inboxing rates, and real support you can count on. If that sounds like something you want to explore, the link's in the description. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.